I tried figuring this out and I'm not sure I remember how it goes. I think it's a blouse. Complicated item. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Veronica. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell mostly on eBay and Poshmark these days. And today I have a thread up unboxing, but it's not your traditional unboxing because I'm not unboxing, I'm unbagging. And no, thread up did not send me a bag of garbage. At least they didn't send it in this bag. But if you've been here for a minute, then you know that I'm still being a little bit cautious with boxes from thread up that contain clothing and especially the ones that come from Georgia because of little creatures that shall not be named. So what I did is I unboxed this 25 piece women's mixed clothing box on my front porch on a sunny day several weeks ago and then just chugged everything into plastic bags, put it in a washer, whatever I could put in a dryer, I put in a dryer and just chugged it right back into new plastic bags after just to be on the safe side. So these bags have been sitting in my basement for a few weeks now and every time I do laundry I look at them and I'm like yeah I really should film that haul. I did film some b-roll as you can already see over here of me unboxing these items and really just giving them a very brief glance to see if there's anything in there that I shouldn't throw in the washing machine, if there's anything new with tags or super delicate. So there is at least one item as far as I remember because it's been a few weeks that I didn't wash. I just put it in a bag and left it there. I will need to steam it but I think it's a jacket and I think the fabric content or something about it made me think I mm, should probably not wash that. So the rest in here I remember some of the items but it's a bit of a blur. And again, when I unboxed this, I wasn't really looking anything over for flaws that much. When I took the items out of the wash, I did notice a few flaws on a few items. So there are already a few that I have to chug and will not be able to resell. Luckily, from what I've seen, those were items that were not super valuable, but we'll, we'll open this up together and see what's in here. Cause I really don't remember. Um, if you like reseller content and if you specifically like thread up unboxings or I guess unbaggings, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of those, but I also post a lot of other hauls and what sold videos, that kind of thing, every once in a while a vlog or a collab with other resellers. So I hope you'll stick around. Okay, so this item in the separate bag, let me double check what it was. Oh yeah, it's wool, nylon, and polyester. And it's by Gap, I think. Yep, Gap, design and crafted size small blazer jacket yeah so it's a wool jacket and it just feels like you shouldn't wash it <laughs> i didn't look at the washing instructions i just felt it and i was like yeah we're not gonna ruin that because that might actually do okay it's a size small and it's this like tan color with like black lining so classic sort of blazer jacket We'll see how she does. I do list Gab when I get it in boxes, but I don't necessarily seek it out unless it's super cute. But I found some good Gab pieces before and they've sold for decent prices, especially new with tags from the bins. All right, what do we start with? This is cute. It's J. Crew outlet, but it's, it's very wrinkly. Um, it doesn't have a size, but I would say probably small to medium. It's embroidered. So once this is steamed, it's probably gonna look cute. Um, J. Crew makes a lot of these adorable tops that <laughs> I am drawn to, but that don't sell for me. So especially without a size, we'll see. It's not the right season for this, but it's uh, it's kind of nice. In this light, looking at it, it looks like it has some color bleeding there on it and it's like pink and should be white. So I might need to do a color remove cycle on that one. And if you're curious to hear more about how I do that, I have a video up that you should definitely check out. Okay, this was a good piece. I don't know if it's still intact because it has so many frills and bells and whistles. And I, I tried figuring this out and I'm not sure I remember how it goes. I think it's a blouse. So it's free people. Okay, so this is the back. Jeez, this is complicated. Complicated item. Free people and it's a size large. And it's this cream color. It doesn't help that things are all tangled up and such. I will try to find a stock photo for this and just pop it on so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like. But it has tassels and ties and buttons and all kinds of things. <laughs> and it looks stupid with me just holding it up like this. But it's a sequined tassel, whatever, not tassel, but these little, these little noisemaker things. Top uh, has the open sleeves. 
that close with buttons. Again, I really hope I can find a stock photo for this to do this justice, but I also haven't taken it apart and, you know, put it on a mannequin or a hanger to see how it really falls on there. But it's like a half sleeve, three quarter sleeve, open sleeve with buttons, top that has slits and kind of like a drop waist from what I can tell. We'll see. And this is a pair of Nike shorts, dry fit, size medium. I will list these the whole new year athletic craze. I don't really do well with it for reselling, but we'll try. This is a Talbot's Petite and I think it's 100% linen, white top, so I will list that. Talbot's does okay for me, mostly with pants and such, like career wear, but I also, again, don't necessarily seek it out. Yeah, it's 100% linen. It's a petite size, uh, just says P, so I'm guessing small. Could be an extra small, actually. It looks very, very small. But yeah, it's 100% linen. It's white. It's wrinkly because, you know, it wasn't a wash. But yeah, other than that, that's decent. Okay, this one is good in terms of brand. doesn't have a size, but it's Eileen Fisher Woman. So it's Eileen Fisher's plus size line. And it's not a special fabric of any sort, but it's a good blazer. Uh, open front. Nope, actually has buttons. Never mind. And again, it's not linen or anything. Eileen Fisher often has linen pieces and I need to double check and make sure it's actually clean and such. Again, I did wash these, but if there were any specific spots that needed to be treated, I didn't do that. Like I said, I didn't look these over as closely. I just chucked them in the wash, chucked them in a dryer, and then didn't look at them for several weeks. But I'm excited for this one. I have to measure and figure out the size. I'm guessing probably a 2X, but we'll see. Plus size Eileen Fisher definitely does well for me. This is a Sea Wonder size medium, colorful, well not colorful, but red uh, blouse with this, what is this pattern? I don't know. It's a repeating pattern is what it is. And it has tassels. Problem is this is supposed to be attached on this side. So I will probably just cut that off and disclose that originally it had the tassel if I decide to list it. I don't think this brand will get me a lot of money, so I have to check some comps and decide and go from there. If I sound a little out of breath today, is because I'm just getting over being sick and actually I hope I'm getting over it. I might be in the thick of it and not know it, but <laughs> that's kind of why. All right, next up is a sanctuary, size extra small, and this might be silk. Snakeskin, full wrap, or real wrap? Could be real wrap, there's a knot down there. Top, um, let me check if this is silk. I feel like it is, but I could be wrong. I could also just not know because I can't find a tag right now. But either way, Sanctuary is a decent brand, but doesn't do great for me reselling wise. Uh, yeah, it's just rayon, so not silk, but that makes it a little bit easier to clean. And I just messed up this whole entire garment. Again, I'm sorry these are so wrinkly. If you take them out of the dryer and chug them in a plastic bag, it's kind of what happens. Um, this, I believe, is Athleta. Do like Athleta. Now, it's all very washed out, the size and the brand. So I have to figure out what size it is, but I'm gonna say probably a large. This is a biking singlet top, and I believe I have the exact same one just in a different color in my closet right now so I can look up what it's called and then compare measurements to hopefully a size chart of some sort so that should be relatively easy to figure out. This is a Tahari size small floral top and normally I would scoff at these things but here's the thing not only have I sold several floral very basic brand blouses that I got from Goodwill Blue Boxes recently I also sold a very basic Tahari t-shirt, so uh, I might just list this. It's nothing special fabric-wise. It's not a super amazing size. It's a size small. It's just very, you know, regular. So we'll see. Uh, this is the Express Portofino shirt, which I've heard about but never found. And I hear this used to do well, but doesn't anymore. Uh, it's a size small and it's just black. And I don't think that's silk, but let's check. 100% polyester. I think something in here is silk, but I could be wrong. So just a good sleeveless shirt. I will likely list that and see what happens. Oh, is that my Lululemon? Yeah, that's my Lululemon. Uh, I found the size somewhere, I think, but it's a Lululemon jacket. And here's the thing, I don't know all my Lululemon jacket. This is really nice. It's a dark green, long sleeve. Don't know what it's called. It's size 12, really good size. <sighs> Tempted to try it on and keep it but it's probably too tight on me and it's yeah it's a larger size for lululemon so i think this will do well especially since it is seasonal 
if you're exercising outside right now, that'll come in handy. Oh, I remember these. Okay, I had like two or three of these express pencil skirts. I think they're all the same style um, and size. This is a size two slip in the back. Um, I'll see if I can find the other ones right away. I cannot, but I found something new with tags from Zara. So Zara W and B, don't know what that means. No idea, but it's a, hold on. It's a used medium and it's this little shirt and I think I think, did this have a stain somewhere? Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it had a flaw, but maybe it didn't. I don't know. I thought something new with tags had a flaw and I was annoyed with it because I can't wash it, but I may be wrong or not. I don't know. Okay, are you the Troy jeans? Kind of, a little bit. Which ones are you? You're the Gap ones. Okay, Gap, I'm not so upset. They're not destroyed, but they definitely have more wear in the uh, crotchal region. <laughs> I would like for items that I'm trying to sell. So these will be donated. I also don't see a size. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, if it wasn't like right in there, I would maybe turn them into shorts, but they're just like a mid-rise skinny, maybe a high-rise. Those are gonna get donated because anybody got time for that. These on the other hand are made well. The 10 inch high rise skinny in a size 30. So that's a good size. Madewell jeans. I personally don't sell them as high as some other people. I don't know if it's me, but either way, they're high rise, they're skinny. They're size 30 and like a medium wash. So happy with these. I was excited for this, but comps are kind of like, eh, maybe you shouldn't be excited, but it's a Derek Lam New York. And I forgot what size it is, but I'll figure it out. It's definitely a larger size. Derek Lam, New York, which I believe is an expensive brand designer or whatever. Now there's Derek Lam Crosby. Okay, it's a US 14 off the shoulder top. And I found this exact one, I think two on Poshmark. And if I remember correctly, one didn't sell for a crazy amount. So that was a little bit disappointing, but either way. Okay, I think this one is damaged. Yep. Okay, it's a J. Crew and it's like some sort of wool sweater, but it has a big old hole in the sleeve, so it's not gonna make it into my closet. So J. Crew, size so small, would have been nice, but especially for the holiday season, but it has holes in the sweater sleeve. Yeah, it's 100% merino wool, so very unfortunate. I guess if you're an upcycler, you could turn it into a sweater vest. I'm just not though, so I don't know. If you like to upcycle items and you would like me to send this to you, let me know, just pay me for shipping. Okay, here is another express skirt, same as the other one, just in a dark green. I think it's coming across on camera. Uh, this one has also this little bit of an accent going on here. I don't think the other one had that. Let's see, nope. But I just might lot all of these up because I think there's another one in here in red. Let me see, yep, I think that's it. And they're such similar styles and they're also the same size. I might just do that. So three pencil skirts in a size two by Express. Might just lot them up. I don't know, maybe they go for big money and I just don't know about it, but I doubt it. Okay, you are Loft or H&M or something along those lines, I can already tell. And I don't remember what you are. And you have a flaw, awesome. Well, it is Ann Taylor size eight so definitely a pretty high flaw rate so far this again it's fixable but it's an ann taylor skirt that i don't think will get me a whole bunch of money so eh, i think we're good on this good to donate that is now in case you don't know these sweater boxes cost how much do they cost 60 bucks you get free shipping if you have a certain thread up uh, status, which I do now. So I didn't pay shipping on this. I don't think I pay taxes. So if you can list everything and if there's 25, item, 25 items in here, then you pay about 260 per item, I think. So since I already have three items that I'm not going to list, my cost of goods is gonna go up a little bit. So it's usually around three bucks, which is usually fine if I get one or two really good items that will pay for the box, then I'm happy with that. I have a much better success rate so far with the 50 and 100 pound box. But when I got my 100 pound box, it was on sale and it hasn't gone on sale since. So 
probably not gonna get another because if I can spend $200 instead of $250 then I will. Anyway, next up is another Zara sweater, size small, and it's a turtleneck, which I guess is like a dark academia thing, if you will, it has these button accents. It's brown, it's very soft, I will say that. Let's see what kind of fabric you are. I don't think Zara does expensive stuff. Okay, it's just viscose, nylon, and elastane, so, but they did a good job putting it together and making it feel real nice. So I will list that. It would cu look cute with one of those pencil skirts. That could be a whole look, but anyway. Oh, speaking of pencil skirts, we have a loft pencil skirt in a size extra, extra small. So we'll see how that does. And it's actually not a pencil skirt. It's, it's a little bit more of an A-line skirt and it's like this tweed material and kind of a checkered pattern and i think again dark academia preppy mini skirts like y2k preppy i think with those keywords this might sell this season if we're lucky but we'll see okay what else is in here one two i think that may be it two more items i forgot what this oh okay <sighs> okay so the button came off and i think i put it in the pocket was I smart and put it in the pocket? I, I remember this now, because I do want to list these, because they're nice. Haha, -ha, I did put the button in the pocket. So I will put that back on, um, because it's a button fly pair of kind of like dress pant trousers. I think it's just Gap, but I really like the look of these with the button fly. Oh, it's Loft, actually, size zero. The high waist, it just says high waist, made in India. So, I think I'm gonna list these. I will replace that button. Well, not replace, just stitch it back on. And the last item, I forgot what you are. Oh, a Zella. So it's not Z by Zella, it's just Zella, which is slightly better, but I don't know how it's gonna do. Um, a size extra small pair of shorts. And that is all she wrote. Now, I think I counted when I unboxed this initially, and I think it was exactly 25, but overall, I'm fairly pleased with this box. It's definitely not one of my best ones, not even top five. But given that it came from Georgia, which is not the greatest warehouse, I think, to get items from for some reason, I'm fairly, fairly happy with it. Um, nothing that excites me a lot besides the Lululemon and the Derek Lom and the Madewell jeans are probably gonna do well too. So there were good items in here and a lot of items that I think have potential that I normally wouldn't pick up, but that might just make me a profit. So I'm happy with this, but also not super excited is my verdict, I guess. Um, I do have a shoe box sitting right behind this door out on my front porch that I'm gonna unbox next. And you'll probably see that video soon on my channel or maybe you already saw it if I decided to upload that one first. We'll see, but stay tuned for more videos on my channel. Again, subscribe if you like, and if you like this kind of content, also hit the like button. And I will hopefully see you soon, either in another video or one of my realist and relax lives. I'll link it up above when that next one is coming out. And I need to take a breath and drink some water and unbox a shoebox now. So see you soon. Bis bald. Tschüss.